And now, a reenactment of Blackjack's morning with Blackjack. Me. Uh, I wonder what time it is. I should check my phone. Oh, wow, my Discord is blowing up with a whole bunch of comments about something. Oh, okay. As apparently, you can have the Platinum outfits in the new... Oh, wait, that means there must be a new preview. I'll check YouTube. Team Galactic is in the thumbnail and nobody freaking told me! Y'all are talking about outfits when there's real news out there! You remember this thing? I've only taken this off to shower. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's begin, shall we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, Candace, Vulgar, yeah. You are not who we came here for, and you are well aware of that. What's with that smile, girl? <laughs> I mean, cue all the Candace jokes. Yeah, Shining Shocking Star, is he still, still his nickname? <laughs> ah. Come on, give me the nickname. <laughs> Music immediately faded after I started singing it. Yes, please. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Hang on a second. I gotta, I gotta back it up a sec. D okay, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah! That is 100% what I am here for. <laughs> Jupiter's outfit still looks ridiculous. I mean, they all they all look varying degrees of ridiculous, but oh man. I have waited for so long to see you three again. <laughs> uh, Saturn, your hair is so shiny. I mean, I can see the shine effects on all of them, but with him it's especially prominent. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> we finally see Jimmy Cyrus! Oh my god, he looks fantastic! <laughs> I mean, he looks hilarious, but you know what I mean. Did he just... He smiled. He actually... Why can't I get... You know what you did! You know what you're doing to me! You know what you're doing to me! Dude, it opened up a sub menu! Now, it, it would rather open up a sub menu than let me pause on the frame where he's smiling! You guys saw that, right? You guys saw that he's fucking smiling! You know I'm gonna try to go back to that. Why does it? No, I, I don't want it to do that. I want it to. God, I actually paused it and then it opened up another menu. He's smiling. 
He's smiling, people! He's actually... I... Okay, I like that. Cinematic. All right, all right. Platinum style. Yeah, we knew about this. Mm hmm. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that. No. I kind of expected that if he was smiling in this game at all, it would be like that really creepy, hollow smile he does in DPA. You know, the, um... Uh, crap, okay. Ad source. Media file. Okay. Oh, well, that one has a spoiler in it. Uh... Okay, I guess, like... Like this smile. Which is, um, I might add, immediately followed... Um... By... This smile. I should remind you all in the DPA continuity, he never actually claims to be emotionless. He just says emotions only cause pain. Which is just as good because, I mean, he would have been an even bigger filthy liar there than he is in the actual games. So, um... <laughs> and he's already a filthy liar in the games. I mean... I've got a frickin' hair in my mouth. Cat hair, I think. Ugh. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna get all the, uh... Perugly jokes again. <laughs> Mars is Perugly acting like a regular cat all around base. <laughs> Clawing stuff up, meowing loudly at three in the morning. <laughs> I would have thought he would have had the creepiest hollow smile, but oh my god. He actually does have a genuine smile in DPA, and it actually looks not quite as relaxed as that. It, even his genuine smile looks kind of creepy. <laughs> until, like, until, like, Volume 8. <laughs> volume 8, he's, like, had a story arc and actual character growth, so... Frickin' smile. Okay, I gotta watch the whole galactic part again. <laughs> I wouldn't say that most of them meet the terms to be considered mysterious, though. I wonder if we're gonna get actual backstories for the commanders this time. I got the feeling that Mars has killed someone before. <laughs> okay, you know the thing that's weirding me out is that he's drawn without a nose in his chibi form. But then, were the, were the other chibis drawn without a nose, too? Yeah, Candace doesn't have one. Candace has no room to be talking about fashion, though. I mean, look at that. Yeah, yeah, Volkner, the, um... The other 20-something uh, antisocial loner, mechanically-minded, um, 
will step over anybody he needs to in order to get what he sees as perfection um, from the same freaking hometown. Um, I mean, I mean, once it's just bad fortune, but twice is a curse on the city. It's been uh, brought up by a few people, including a friend of mine, um, that it's likely that Cyrus and Volkner started off pretty similarly, except where Volkner had Flint, Cyrus had nobody. So they had uh, far different outcomes. And that's it's pretty damn sad. I really wish they had done more with the library here. Because the Candelaf Library is supposed to be like this huge important place, right? It's supposed to be this repository of knowledge for all Sinnoh. And it looks like something you'd see in an elementary school. A really poorly funded elementary school. <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys that if they don't screw this game up, I'm going to get a tattoo of the Galactic logo? I hate needles. But such, such is my devotion. I just have to think of where I would put it. You're looking amazing, sweetheart! <laughs> I thought this doll I have has cheapy proportions, but no. Oh my goodness. My small angy son. You all knew I was going to say it at some point. <laughs> His hands are a different color than his face. They're so pale. <laughs> Just me or is his hair considerably less spiky than it used to be? Or like, less tall, rather. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 da -da 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 shot. I, I, uh... <laughs> so this video is, um, two minutes and 32 seconds. I have managed to talk for, um, almost 13 and a half minutes. I am a very happy blackjack right now. I am an extraordinarily happy blackjack, and I know that really defeats the purpose of Team Galactic. <laughs> Unless it's um, the thing from the uh, image I was just showing you, the whole where everyone can live smiling, where um, I have a feeling he meant as artificial a smile as he was showing in there. Uh, let's add that source back. Media file. Um, uh, sake of that new world. That's the name of that. Let me ask you. What do you want to do when you meet Dialga? Huh? You want to see it mainly out of curiosity, right? Harita, you should look at things from a wider perspective. A few small sacrifices on the way to a greater goal are inevitable. Harita, I... I want to create an ideal new world. A world where there is no more fighting and where everyone can live smiling. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
if this is their second time meeting. Their first time meeting, um, he was basically like, oh, you're a friend of Mitsumi. Tell her I said hi, and he leaves without saying who he is. <laughs> And she's like, no, I, I don't have any friends in the area. What are you talking about? I can't think of anyone. What? <laughs> yeah. So needless to say, this is a supremely overlooked series. <laughs> Goodness. Let's see if I... No, not web page. Uh, ad source. Here we have a... Look, oh, I was gonna say, let's have a look at Blackjack's manga collection. I have one here, a four coma that was on the card game website. Yeah, he's so furious that he's crunching the corner of the wall with his bare hand because the grunts are making friends with Dialga before he could. Somehow, still more in character than he ever was on the show. Maybe not ever, but definitely by the end. <laughs> uh, it still hurts. It still freaking hurts. It's there. There's there's a lot of ones here that I have that are spoilers. Uh, here's one from Pokey Special. This is when Cyrus finds out that Saturn has been playing video games on the team television, or the team computer. <sighs> Mars gets really excited when she thinks that Cyrus is going to pinch Charon. She's like... And, uh, Saturn just starts freaking out when he thinks the same thing, so, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I do not know why they decided to um, have that be his punishment, but... Uh, oh, yeah. Focus Special is also the one where he pulls this bullshit. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that's meant to be Honchkrow behind him, but where's its body? <laughs> Honchkrow is a pretty big thing, and Cyrus is a... Well, I guess at the time we didn't know how small he actually is. Like, and then they, they've, they've had inconsistent heights for the bosses, but in uh, Ultra, he's estimated to be only about five foot six. It, and it's kind of like... So that means there's only one boss that's shorter than him, and that's Maxi. But that also means he's my height? <laughs> but, um... In Masters, on the other hand, he's, like, really tall. I don't think anyone's actually estimated his height there, but he's taller than Giovanni in that game. Which simply would not be possible with the Ultra Heights, because Giovanni is like 6 foot 5 in Ultra. <laughs> Maxi is still the shortest boss in Masters, though. <laughs> oh, my my. Okay, I have managed to talk for over 19 minutes um, about uh, two and a half minute video, so... Um, I should probably make this fast. Um, my boy's smiling. <laughs> <laughs>